Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Furkan Lafazi, pursuing BSc Physical Health and Education from lovely professional university. So today, uh, guys, we are going to talk about short per technique. Short per technique is of so many types. Uh, for example, uh, uh, disco per technique or uh, rotational technique and the another is gliding, which is popularly known as perio brain technique. So today we are going to talk about perio brain technique. But before that, I want to interrupt here that I'm going to I'm going to use this ball instead of real short because that was not available. So I'm going to use this one and uh, moving ahead. Perio brain technique uh, includes almost eight stages. Uh, for example, grip and carry, and then uh, initial stance, and the third one is uh, T position, and then crouch, and then glide, and then uh, power position, and then uh, release, and the last one is reverse. So we're gonna explain all these stages one by one with the practical example. But before that, let's do some warm up exercise. Close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on we are in the ground now uh, we are going to explain uh, all the stages which are involved in the perio baron technique uh, one by one so uh, first of all we are going to discuss uh, how to grip and carry the ball so uh, in this stage there is a common phenomena in the grip there is a common phenomena that is your uh, finger should be equally distributed over the ball like this you can see you can zoom to show the viewers like this and the main important thing in this stage that, that is your uh, palm should be clean that's why it's called a dirty finger and clean palm a ball should not rest on the palm so uh, it is the uh, way to carry the to uh, grip the ball and now how to carry and wire to carry you can see uh, the collar bone above the collar bone and uh, lower the jaw like this and raise your left arm this is the position of grip and carry and then uh, this, uh, the next stage uh, that is uh, initial stance like this if you are a right hand thrower then you uh, you need back step your uh, left leg and uh, this is the uh, initial stance uh, position so guys now uh, moving ahead to the third stage that is T position This is the T position. And then the fourth is crouch. In this uh, stage, uh, you need to know that your left knee should be slightly forward, forward than your right knee. That's like this. This is the crouch position. Here guys, I am going to repeat all the uh, stages one by one. First, uh, group the short. And then carry, raise your left arm, first position. And then second initial stance. And then third uh, T position. And then crouch, looking towards non-throwing direction. And then uh, glide. Here the right foot should be on the center of the circle. And uh, making 45 degree right leg and 90 degree uh, left leg. Just imagine guys. And uh, upper body uh, should be uh, straight. And bend the knees. This is the power position. And uh, weight on the right leg. And uh, left hand will rotate. 
and uh, make a turning movement that stork and then uh, release and reverse uh, after release uh, releasing the uh, shot there is a reverse position that you should not cross the line right leg should be inside the uh, circle otherwise it will be foul